Hello, hello everyone, and it is the first week of August of 2023, and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about some of my favorite gear that I have used so far this year. Now, I also wanna say I did this same video last year and I totally copied from bikepacking.com. It's always good to set your sources and they just released like maybe two weeks ago their favorite gear of the mid-year, so I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> So this year has been a kind of paltry year for cycling for me. I have been nursing this injury, which I've mentioned a million times in all my videos this year so far. And I just haven't been cycling as much as I normally do. However, I have been camping a couple of times. I have done one bike packing trip, which was super fun. And I have been doing quite a bit of short rides around town. So with that, here are some of my favorite things that I have used so far this year. Some of them have been gifted to me, some of them I bought myself, but I will list all of them in the description below if you wanna check them out. So the first thing that I wanna mention is the Old Man Mountain Juniper Trunk. Now I've worked with Old Man Mountain for a while now. They've sent me a lot of gear to review. They have been really wonderful to me. And this was a bag that they sent me maybe a year and a half ago, and I couldn't really figure out how to use it on either bikepacking trips or in my day to day until I just started riding my Crestbombora around town. And I put this on the back because I needed to carry like a couple of odd shaped things and I didn't want to carry a bag on my back because it was too hot. So I threw on the juniper trunk on my rack that they also gave me. I'm running the Old Man Mountain Elkhorn rack, which I have a review of and I'll put it up here in the description below if you want to check it out. But I put this really cool bag on my on my bike and I really like it. I get a ton of compliments on it. The bag is about 10 liters. It straps onto the rack with Velcro straps and it is strong as hell. When I actually like strap them down and tried to take the bag off to see if it would, you know, like move around or at all, it didn't budge. And so in it, I have like stuffed things in it. I've stuffed clothes in there, bike locks. I put my iPad in there and, and with no issues. Um, and so I use it kind of as a, like, I'm just throwing stuff in there, like kind of bigger things that I can't really fit into my pockets or into the smaller bags that I carry on my bike. So I really like this trunk. It has a lot of uses, especially just for like a daily driver kind of bag that I don't take off my bike. I don't think that this particular model of the Juniper trunk is available anymore. I think Old Man Mountain just came out with a new line of bags for their racks, and I'm looking forward to trying those out soon. The next thing on my list is the Spindle 40 ounce crusher. Now this is a stem bag that I have featured on my channel before when I've borrowed this bag from friends, but I finally bought some of my own. I bought a pair that I got custom made from the Spindle. They're a small bag maker here in Atlanta. Really, really nice folks and they make excellent bags. This is probably my favorite stem bag that I've ever used. It does fit 40 ounces, though I haven't tried putting a full 40 ounce can in there or Nalgene bottle or like whatever. The biggest thing that I put in there is like a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, but it fits a whole bunch of stuff. I'm currently just putting Nalgene bottles in there because I'm running it on my single speed. It's summer right now. It is so hot and I need a ton of water when I'm out riding, but it also fits a ton of snacks. This thing is massive. I used to run a makeshifter snack hole. It's a great bag. It was one of the first things that I reviewed on this channel but it just wasn't quite big enough. But this one is absolutely massive. I'm not putting a Nalgene bottle in it. I'm putting a ton of snacks or my cook kit. If it's a bunch of shit and it's awesome and I, I really like it. I'm probably gonna do a review of that bag on this channel soon, so stay tuned for that. Spindle is an awesome, awesome local bag maker. I feel really strongly about supporting people in the bike community here in Atlanta, and I was super excited to get a couple of custom bags from them. The next item on my list might be mildly controversial. It's probably not, I'm probably overthinking this, but it is an auto lock. The reason that this is on my list is that it is so small, it is so tucked away, and I use it almost every single time I'm out on my single speed. I just have it wrapped around my saddle bag and it just 
sits there and I don't think about it. This like drives me crazy when I'm out and about on my bike, but I'm always forgetting my U-lock and it's super heavy and super cumbersome. And I don't always wanna carry a goddamn U-lock, you know? It's just, they're just annoying. And so being able to have this like tiny little lock just to kind of bop around town with and to just be able to lock up outside of a coffee shop when I'm just like running in somewhere is really nice. Now that being said, I'm pretty sure that you could snip this thing apart with industrial scissors. So I don't think of this as, oh, this thing is protecting my bike. I think of it as more like, oh, it is not convenient to steal. Now, I mean, I wouldn't leave it locked up anywhere for like hours at a time unless I knew it was somewhere really, really safe. But it is some, something that's really nice to have when I'm just like sitting out on a patio somewhere, when I'm in a coffee shop and it just lives on my bike and I don't have to think about bringing in a U-lock every time I wanna go ride. The last two items on my list are more bikepacking related. And the first is the Get Out Gear Boofy Blanket. Get Out Gear reached out to me earlier this year and asked if I would be interested in trying out one of their blankets and I was like hell yeah of course I would and I honestly use this thing all the time in the winter I just use this on my couch I have brought it camping with me it is a super lightweight really compact down blanket that is really affordable I think it's around like 60 bucks on Amazon or something like that I brought this on camping trips to kind of be an auxiliary blanket when it's a little bit colder outside it stuffs down relatively small and it just adds a little bit extra warmth when it's cold it's a great blanket it's really affordable and I'm super grateful to get out gear for sending me one I yeah I really like it and I've never there's very I feel like there's very few pieces of camping gear that you find on Amazon or like other you know like cheap pieces of camping gear that are like actually worth it and have a, a lot of uses and I feel like this is one of those things it's not meant to be a really cold weather sleeping quilt but it is a really good kind of auxiliary complimentary blanket for your camping trips or bikepacking trips. And the last thing on my list is the Tarp Tent Pro Trail. So I bought this um, maybe um, four, three or four months ago and I've just been trying it out. It's really compact, it's really light. I think it is about 24 ounces. I think that's what, like 600 grams or something like that. And it's half the size and half the weight of my Big Agnes Fly Creek 2 for bikepacking, which is the current tent that I bikepack with. And it has not disappointed so far. I've really, really enjoyed using it and I'm going to post a re more full review slash overview on that in the coming weeks. So keep a lookout for that. All right, y'all, those are the five things that I have really enjoyed using so far this year. If you like this content and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next week.